Welcome to our tutorial of how to debug an Angular application in Chrome. By the end of this video, you will be familiar with how to use Chrome's dev tool for debugging Angular applications, making your development process more efficient. Let's get started. Firstly, make sure that your Angular application is running. You can do this by typing ng-serve in your terminal inside the directory of your Angular project. My Angular project is already running. I will stop it. I will start it again with that command. This command will compile your application and start a web server. Once the server starts, you should see a URL in the terminal. So this is your default URL that you can open in the Chrome in the new tab. We'll open it. Now let's open the Chrome Dev Tools. You can do this by right clicking anywhere on your web page by selecting the inspect menu or use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift I for Windows or Command Option I for the Mac. So for the Mac, it is command options I. So I, if I press on that, I can see the inspector okay, that is open. This, this is called tab tools. Now, uh, for the basic debugging, we will focus primarily on sources and console. Click on the sources tab and then click on the web pack and expand this here you will see the source folder expand that as well in this source folder you will find all of the files that are generated that are available in your angular project you can use these files to inspect your code now let's set a breakpoint in one of your typescript files navigate to desired file file and click on the line number where you want to set a breakpoint so for example in the login there is a file login.component i want to set a breakpoint on line number 18 so just click on this area where it is hovering and with that a blue icon will appear indicating a breakpoint when execution reaches this line it will pause allowing you to inspect variables and the call stack go back to your application and perform the action that triggers the breakpoint the execution will pause at the breakpoint and you will see the current call stack and local variables on the right side of the source panel so i will go to the login page and i will submit the function and it will this login function will be executed and it will stop here So on the right side, you can see we have all of the breakpoints that we have added. If you add further breakpoints, those will also be listed here. And in the scopes area, you can see multiple scopes of the execution. In the local scope, you will see all of the variables that are available in the local scope. We have this context that is the component. We have password variable, and we have username. Right now, password is not set yet. That's why it is undefined because the line number 18 is not executed yet. In the closure, you will see more contacts where you can go and inspect things. And this is the call stack that will tell you that how exactly this function was executed. It will give you the entire chain at how this uh, execution reaches uh, up to this line. Within this pause execution state, you can hover any variable in the source code to see the current value. So for example, I am hovering on password. You can see that it is the value is ABC and the value for username property is David. And if you hover your mouse on uh, the on the value property, you will see there is an object in that property. Now, if you uh, want to continue to the next line, you can uh, click on the play button. 
and with that it will stop on the next line and then you can observe the values and now you can notice that the value for the password has been set in the password variable because that line has been executed so you can also use these options as well uh, these are available here step over step into and step out now that you understand the basics of debugging angular application in chrome it is time to practice debugging is an essential skill for any developer and the more you use these tools the more proficient you will become that concludes our tutorial on how to debug an angular application in chrome if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more coding and development tutorials if you have any questions please drop them in the comments below thanks for watching and happy coding